working for IBM. Um, in this video, I would like to quickly go over a simple microservice that can uh, be used to handle messaging uh, to other people. There are many different um, uh, third-party applications and packages you could use to handle sending messages. Um, there is Twilio, Nexmo, uh, Ring Central. In this example, I actually would be using uh, Ring Central. Um, so Ring Central has a very uh, generous free tier for just playing and testing. If you go to developers.ringcentral.com, you can create a free account, start playing with it. Uh, so the page we're seeing here is the documentation page here. And uh, I am just looking at uh, creating a message. So the application we're going to build is going to be a Node Express application. We are going to have a, a API endpoint and where there um, we're going to send a message and a recipient phone number and our application will then just extend this application. This can be used in many different places uh, for sending a confirmation to your user or sending the password reset link to the user. Um, the reason we're trying to build this as a microservice is that we can then uh, do other extra things like deploy this somewhere or put it behind uh, some sort of a message queue system where when you want to generate some sort of messages like this, you would just publish a message and your microservice can then listen to this asynchronously and your application doesn't have to carry all this information in it itself. So uh, let's quickly jump in and see how we can build this application. So first, we're going to look into the documentation of how we can uh, build this. So uh, the documentation is pretty straightforward. We have to just install this npm package, which is ring central slash sdk dash save in an npm uh, package. And uh, then we just like take this code and we will get started from there. Uh, and I also have my account set up right here. Um, you will need to, once you set your account, once you create a new project, you will have uh, the client ID, client secret account, uh, your password, all those things that are gonna need to build this application. Um, so with that, I'm gonna quickly jump into the code. And the code is again, pretty straightforward. I used uh, NP, uh, Express Generator to generate the basic um, code structure. Then I actually went in and changed a few other things to make sure that my code works with ES6 and a lot of other nice things. Um, so uh, here's the package.json. We have, uh, we are using ESM to uh, run our code uh, directly uh, without using Babel or anything to get the ES6 um, support. Uh, our application has this um, route for messages, it listens to slash, it looks for two uh, body parameter for to and message. And if we get that, we just send a message to a send message function, which happens to be in our service. And that uh, gets some of the secrets that we set in our config.json. I'm not going to show my config.json because there's some secret data there, but the file would kind of pretty much look like this. You have a client ID, client secret account ID, account password, ring central server, and ring central extension. You put all this information in this JSON file and name it config.json, and you could just import this and then um, build this service. Again, this code here is from the uh, example they have provided, but we basically, I basically uh, used it as a promise. Um, instead of directly doing some uh, callback dot dense. So I'm here just like awaiting the login and I'm trying to send a message to a message. Um, so if it works, it just gives me the data back. So let's just run this server. I can just say npm uh, start and that would do whatever it needs to do. And it will just start at start listening in port 9001. And then I can be using something like Postman to send a message. I will uh, be sending this message to my other phone that we have here. And what I will do is actually start recording the screen on that phone. Um, okay, so my screen is recording on that phone right now. And what I will do here on this side, I will come here and this is the two and this is the message I'm sending. And I will call this video, video demo, yay. Uh, hopefully this works and I'm sending this message localhost is a post with all that information if I press send um, it says done and that worked and on the right side on the video you could see that um, the video uh, the message came through it's it's a demo application and it's a trial account that's why they append some text from the ring central 
but for a paid account or uh, for the full application, you wouldn't necessarily have that. But for tra testing purposes, I don't think that's a bad thing or that's something that bothers me. But yeah, I could be sending messages. This message could be something like um, a temporary passcode or a password reset link and all, anything you can think of building here. So yeah, this was a quick little demo. The code to this will be published on GitHub uh, on uh, github.com slash moviecodes uh, slash um, message microservice. I haven't post actually haven't created the GitHub link yet, but that's where it's going to be posted. It will the information actually all the information are going to be in the description below. Um, yeah, if you like this video, if you want to like learn more things like this, please feel free to um, follow me on Twitter. Uh, give this video a thumbs up, and thank you.